Here are two pieces of 16 ounce copper, or about 25 gauge. And I'm brazing these together using oxygen acetylene and a 332nd bracing rod. Getting the copper red hot and then brazing this butt joint where the two pieces are just butted up against each other. Now this is a good braze and I use this sometimes but if you'll notice the bronze flows out over the copper and that's fine for many situations but let's just say that I didn't want that. Another option would be to use a lap joint. Two more pieces of copper, again 16 ounce or about 25 gauge, using some flux. Now I'm making a lap joint. These two pieces will just lock into each other. This is a piece of silver solder wire. Flattening it out to make it as thin as possible. Clip that off. You can also buy silver solder in sheets like this. But wire is more standard in the welding supply houses. Sliding that in here. Now comes the tricky part. To get this centered on there so it is square and does not move. Just a few taps with that mallet. Block of wood. Oops. That moved on me. Looks square. Just tap this end down just a bit. I am not an expert in using silver solder because I use very little silver solder in my work. But once in a while, if I want this type of seam I'll use this technique. A couple points right here is that compared to the first braze I did with the brazing rod, I was only dealing with one thickness of metal. Here I'm dealing with four thicknesses. Also, when I was using the brazing rod, I could see the flow of the bronze. Here I cannot see the silver solder melting. So I have to make sure that I've got enough heat that it's heating all four thicknesses and also that the silver solder is going to melt right into that joint. When this is cool, I'll clean it up. We can see what I've got. As you can see, I've done a number of these just to make sure that I know what I'm talking about. And some of the seams are just a little bit different. For specific situations, this technique will give a very clean seam.